Hey everyone, it's Michael here at Home Health Success Academy and you are now in the module 8 portion of our how to start a home care business. So in this video series, we're talking about everything from how to be able to apply for your licensing for your particular state, how to be able to market your company, how to be able to create your business plan, creating your business process, um, what type of insurances or what type of uh, expenditures are you going to be putting into starting your in your company? Um, are you going to be doing a uh, franchising? Are you going to start a home-based business or are you going to actually rent out an office space out there in the community? So we're giving you guys all the information that you guys need to be able to start your home care company. And in this module, we're talking about relationship selling. Uh, one thing that you have to understand in marketing your company is that you need to actually build relationships in order to be able to get continual referrals from potential referral sources. And when you do have a client, you need to create a relationship with that particular client because if you're providing services for a client, guess what? More likely they know someone that may need your services as well. And so relationship selling is such an important thing to be able to market your company out there to be able to continuously get referrals. You can never be satisfied with just one referral. You must continuously make relationships out in the field to be able to create that successful agency that you actually want. So in addition to reaching the senior market through your promotions and advertising activities, you must also have a clear understanding of the selling process, okay? And you have to understand that there is a different um, sales process from what we call a uh, business cycle. Those are two different sections, but we're going to talk about the basic selling process. Uh, selling process is getting a commitment from your prospects to purchase your home care services or to refer to you to people that's going to purchase your services. A lot of individuals, including business owners, have a fear and reluctance to selling, but allowing these negative thoughts to get in the way of selling your services is one way to ensure your business will fail. Needless to say, if you don't have clients who buy your services, you don't have a business, no matter how good your services are or how well you have done your marketing. So an effective, positive, and rewarding way to sell your home care services is by practicing what is commonly known as a relationship selling. Relationship selling is not a new concept at all and is commonly used by professional salespeople. It can apply to any type of business, whether the business is retail, business to business, product, or even services. While the steps to the sales process may vary slightly for each type of business, the overall theme of building relationships is consistent for all and relationship selling is a win-win proposition. If the services you are selling truly meets the need of your clients, then both parties will benefit. So let's say, for example, in our company called 10xpatientreferrals.com, um, we actually provide you guys over 200 hours of video and audio training that gives you every step, every training, every detailed information to be able to market your company. And we actually have a sales process program that we offer that details everything step by step on your sales process. You have to understand, in this series that we're giving you guys, we're trying to help you guys start your company and give you the basics of what you need to do to market your company out there and get you started. And you always have to continuously educate yourself on the different um, ways of marketing your company out there, whether you do it by yourself through learning experiences, meaning, you know, learn from your own mistakes, creating the mistakes and how to be able to solve them or how to be able to work with a company that already has faced those mistakes and can Give you guys the solutions for those uh, potential pitfalls that you may face. So you need to build trust with people. You know, people tend to do business with those they, they like and trust, right? We hear that a lot. But I also want to say one thing. Yes, people will do business with those that they like and trust, but they will never do business with people that they do not know yet, right? So that's what your marketing and advertising is all about, is you need to be known first. You need to gain people's attention first. And once you get their attention, then you can build trust with them. So clients may walk away from a transaction because they do not trust the person to deliver what was being promised or because they simply don't like the person at all. Have you ever decided not to buy a product because of the salesperson? I'm sure that this has happened to you before in the past. And you know you need to be able to make sure that you, as a person that's uh, selling your product, that's marketing your product, can... Um, 
show the person you're you're presenting to that they can trust you and they can believe the fact that the services you can provide for their parents, their grandparents, will be actually a great thing and can actually help their loved ones stay at home longer. And so this is something that you have to be able to practice on. Conversely, they tend to go back again to do business with helpful, honest, and trustworthy people. You can start building trust by letting know your prospect and clients to get to know you. So I want you guys to be able to focus on filling your clients' needs. The better your services fits your clients' needs, the more commitment you will have. When clients know you sincerely care about what they want and need, they will feel comfortable that they are making the right decision in purchasing your services. Some of the most compelling messages out there is that you can deliver to clients and potential clients is not what a great business you are, okay, rather than you understand what they need and you can solve the problems. What businesses do is we solve problems. McDonald's solves your hunger. You know, you go to Walgreens to get the medications that you need, okay? So what you have to understand is you cannot just try to deliver this message and talk about your company, that your company is this great company. You guys have been around for five years. You know, the owner, you know, loves what they do. No, no, no. It's not about that. That is the least thing. And that's actually one of the first things that a lot of, you know, um, unexperienced marketers do is that they talk so much about the company rather than talking about what are the problems that the client is facing? How can I um, customize this presentation to be able to answer the problems that you're facing right now, the, the needs and wants that you actually need to be solved, okay? So that's what you actually really need, to, you really need to do. So in order to become successful in connecting with your client and potential clients, find out what they need, what they want. Find out what, you know, what really is the thing that's going to make them make that decision to start using the services. Um, this is one of the best advice I can give you guys. Listen more than you talk. You know, think about this way, right? You have two ears and one mouth. That means you should listen more than you should talk, Okay. So you need to listen and then listen some more. So when people give their undivided attention to others without interrupting, there is a greater opportunity to establish a level of ease and comfort which can initiate the relationship building process. However, it is too often overlooked in the context of establishing relationships. Remember, you will never learn anything about your prospect or client if you are doing all of the talking. Body language is important. One of the things that we do when we actually do full training with marketers, when we get hired by agencies to come to their company and to be able to do direct training with their marketers, is that we talk about body language. You know, it's another traditional technique is understanding and using your body language, knowing how to interpret the prospects folding arms or eye contact, you know, could give you much needed information about how comfortable they are with you or how ready they are to make a commitment. It is well known that communication is 50% body language, 40% tone of voice, and 10% actual words. Yet most of us rely on just talking. Just talking and trying to say everything that we need to deliver. And that's where you have to understand that is that everybody has their own way of speaking. So let's say, here's a good example, right? If somebody is actually talking really, really fast and you talk to them really slow, Right there alone, there is a um, a difference between that and can be, you know, non-verbally um, expressing that you guys are different and they cannot relate to you. I want you to think about the people that surround you, your friends, okay? Most of the time is if you are hanging out with the same people all the time, you guys have the same type of tonality and at the same time as the way you guys talk is the same, the speed of your voice is the same. So there's a lot of big similarities. Even those basic nonverbal language, body language skills is important to be able to understand. Um, there are several um, training out there that you can do. There's a company owned by Vanessa Ben Edwards. Um, she provides amazing training regarding nonverbal and body language training. I truly, truly suggest that you look into her as a person um, that you can get information on and how to be able to learn how to um, adjust your body language regarding training um, and your and um, and understanding how you can better uh, translate and deliver uh, your message for your company. Uh, network effectively. Um, so. 
networking is another way of be, building relationships, right? So you need to be good at networking. Um, we always try to tell people that you should be attending networking events about minimum of about one to two times every week in order to be able to expand your network, right? Your net worth is your network, right? So, um, or the other way around, however you want to say it. So, you know, it, the, you know, the worth of your company all depends on how much you network your company and how you can get the word out about your company and meet the right people you know, to put in place. And um, one thing we do suggest is that if you cannot um, have or attend networking events, sometimes the best thing to do is actually create your own event to be able to bring people to come to you. So networking is that building relationships with anyone who can help you grow your home care business. Your home care business is dependent upon building relationships to develop new sources of clients. This is so necessary, right? It's necessary for promoting growth and replacing client turnover. There is a high turnover rate in the senior service market and especially true to those who are confined to home because of health problems. Sometimes you're going to have a patient. You're hoping to care for this patient for the next year, two years, three years, but guess what? If they're already needing some basic service of care, more likely they may end up in the hospital. And right there alone, you're going to lose a client. And right there alone, your caregiver you can lose to another company unless you can actually replace the client for them to care for. So it's a matter of being able to understand that there is a high turnover rate between caregivers as well as clients as well. Uh, networking must be the personal responsibility of the manager or designated individual, meaning that if you have a marketer, um, their job is to network out there as well. If you're the manager, you have to make sure that they're going out there. At the same time, as you cannot rely on just your marketer or your salesperson to be the only person networking for the company because they become the brand of the company and not you. So if you're the owner of the company, you have to make sure that you yourself go out there and meet the potential referral sources as well. Success is based on building relationships, making contacts, and systemically working on business development each day. The ultimate goal of networking is to develop business for your own business. Networking involves determining your networking purposes and your goals. You should identify possible contacts and develop a plan to ensure building upon these contacts. One of the things that I like to do is use LinkedIn to be able to network with people. It's just the beginning part of meeting with them and talking to them but then eventually transitioning on and being able to meet with them live and not just through social media or through my phone. You know, you have to be able to understand that it is the very foundation of all business development activities. So, you know, as a tool, it requires maintaining regular contact with people for the ultimate purpose of obtaining more clients. When you have an effective networking, what happens is it involves uh, defining possible contacts, determining your networking purpose, developing a plan of action, and committing the time and energy necessary to produce meaningful results. So you need to start taking action each day to initiate and maintain a business relationship. So how do you find networking opportunities? Well, you know, your community is filled with so many chances to be able to meet the right people for the home care business. You can meet up with accountants, adult daycare agencies, your change of chamber of commerce, your churches, health organizations such as Alzheimer's.org. Um, you have home health equipment providers, home health care agencies. So if you're non-medical, you should team up with, you know, medical home health agencies that don't provide non-medical. You should team up with hospices. You should team up with assisted living communities. Team up with lawyers, insurance agents, nursing homes. Um, there's a whole different things out there that you can actually go and find events. You know, one thing you can do is you can go to meetups, for example. Go search meetups in your local community and see what type of uh, meetups are happening in your area. Attend those events and meet people and network with these people to be able to expand your network. So that's just a basic information about relationship building. Um, if you don't believe relationship building is important in this uh, industry, then that is going to be a big problem. If you're going to tell me, you know what, Michael, I'm an introvert, not an extrovert, so I'm not really good at meeting people. Just want to let you guys know I'm an introvert myself, but at the same time as, you know, I can actually still go out there and meet with people. I, I define myself as an introvert. But when it comes to business, there are different things you have to do. The reason why people say, well, they're introverts, they don't talk to people, well, that's impossible because if you're an introvert, why are you wanting to open up a business? If you're an introvert, you're going to be staying at home all the time, but you're comfortable talking to your friends. 
At one point, you didn't know your friends, but then they became friends, and then you started talking to them. It goes the same way with a lot of people out there in the business world. You're going to meet them for the first time. You may not know them fully, but if you decide to make a um, decision, if you make a decision to be able to talk to them, find out more about them, and then maybe from there on, you can build that relationship to become a business relationship. So I hope this quick uh, module is able to give you guys information on how to be able to uh, start having the mindset that it is important to network your company out there. If you have any other questions, always contact us uh, either by email or by phone. Stop by our website. If you really want full detailed information about our training and our marketing services, just go to 10xpatientreferrals.com. It's a full, robust information of information that can provide you guys with everything you need to do to be able to market your agency. Hey, everyone. It's Michael here at Home Health Success Academy, and I just want to say thank you for joining us on this quick video. My intentions for today is to be able to get you guys to start using our online marketing university. The intention here is to be able to have you guys make sense of why joining our online learning platform is what's going to be able to create success for your agency, okay? And we want to be able to give you all information that you need to create success. A lot of agencies nowadays are having problems how to be able to get more referral sources, how to be able to get their current referral source to give them more patients, how to go after past referral source that you lost to another agency, how to be able to increase your revenue, Right? A lot of agencies are closing down nowadays, and our intention is to be able to give you all the knowledge that we share with clients of ours that pays us thousands of dollars to be able to manage their marketing team and their agency. So we're reaching out to home health agencies. These are the skilled nursing agencies right? that, that builds Medicare and insurances and Medicaid. Then we also want to reach out to the non-medical, the caregiving and homemaker agencies, and especially hospice agencies as well. And we definitely want to be able to have owners, administrators, especially marketers and liaisons for companies to be able to take this online program, an online platform that's going to give you everything, all the knowledge you need to be able to create success in marketing your company. Remember, marketing your agency Selling your services is 100% of your revenue and is in charge of pretty much paying your salary, paying your employee salary, pay, paying your co-worker salary. This is what we have in our online university. We're showing you how to be able to create your target market, how to be able to look out into the into the area that you're in, figure out who are the right targets you need to be able to hit, who are the ones you should be visiting, who should you be following up with. We're going to show you how to create a sales process. If, you're, if you are a company that does not have a sales process, that does not understand a business cycle, this video is important for you. right? When you guys admit patients in your company, you guys have an admission process. Right? And if somebody skips something, if somebody shortcuts something, things may fall through. Same exact thing when you're marketing your company. You can't just go out there and think things are going to happen naturally. Okay, So we're going to show you how to do the sales process, how to do your presentation properly. What are the mistakes that you're going to be facing? Right, Because we all make mistakes. But guess what? We've made mistakes ourselves. Right? My, for me, for example, I made a lot of mistakes in marketing, but I figured out how to be able to handle that so that I don't do it again. Or if it does come up, how can I actually solve it faster? How to handle objections. You guys heard it all. We don't have time to meet with you. We are, we are already working with another agency. Oh, you know what? I don't have any patients that needs home health. Yet, you know for a fact that that doctor just took care of another patient that had home health services. How to be able to learn how to get into the front of the nursing homes, into the hospital's preferred provider list, the do's and don'ts of marketing, you know, how to be able to find out different marketing strategies. What should I be giving out to people? Should I have lunch and learns? Should I not have lunch and learns? How much should I spend in a marketing target? Cold calling scripts. A lot of us don't even want to cold call. People are saying cold calling is dead. The reason why people say don't make cold calls because they themselves have quit on making cold calls because they themselves have faced so many objections. But guess what? If you are able to create an appointment, you have a 70% chance of getting that business than walking in cold by yourself live, okay? 
So you guys have to understand how do I handle a cold call? That's very much important. All these different series is available individually if you want to purchase them. If you want to purchase just the follow-up techniques, which we will show you guys a, a follow-up technique on how to be able to increase it, right? We're going to show you guys day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, every single thing you need to do to be able to increase that potential referral source to refer patients to you guys. You can purchase that particular series by itself that for $1.99, or we're going to share with you guys our membership platform, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about that, right? So like I said, you're going to have access to each one of these courses. You're going to be able to purchase these individually, but if you join our online marketing university, which we have a membership program that we're going to share with you guys in a few, okay? so that's what we do at 10xpatientreferrals.com. This is a particular website right here, okay? When you go into that website, you're going to see three memberships, okay? Three memberships. We have our platinum, our silver, and our gold membership, okay? And so right now as we speak, okay, right now as we speak, we talked about our online, our, our boot camp that's coming up all over, right? So guess what? Be, by the end of, of 2018, we're going to remove a special thing that we're doing, okay? And so what we're doing is right here, right now. Platinum membership. You get full access on all the courses. If you purchase them individually, it's over $7,500 in value, okay? Just let you guys know, when you purchase a particular series, you only have access to that for a whole month, okay? So you're if you want access to this every month so that you can keep on going back and learning, right? You'll be paying $7,500 a month by just asking those. But guess what? For a platinum series, it's 149 a month. You have access to all of that. Plus, you get part of our quarterly mastermind meetings. That's a $3,000 value. And you also have access to us for one hour a month for coaching. Okay, that's a $2,500 value. And at the same time as we talked about our boot camp that we're having, you'll get one free ticket to any one of the boot camps that we're having. So separately, it all totally, it's about $9,500 worth of value. And you can access that for $149 a month. Now, things go down a little bit. If you just want to do our silver membership, um, what's going to happen is you get the full access and you get a one ticket to our boot camp event. But just to let you guys know, we are going to be taking out that boot camp ticket soon once 2019 hits. So if you want to sign up, sign up right now to get that free ticket, okay? So right there alone, we suggest that to you guys. at $79 a month. Now, if you want something in the middle, which most of our clients are using, it's just our gold membership. You get full access to the whole courses. You get one ticket to the live bootcamp, and you get the quarterly mastermind meeting available as well. So right there alone, we have so much information that we want to be able to give to you guys, and we want you guys to be able to access that right now. So you guys should definitely join like I said, I want you guys to be able to join this because this is what's going to create success. A lot of you guys are saying, hey, well, $149, that's a lot of money, Michael. I totally understand that. But guess what, guys? Let me ask this question for you guys. If I can show you and with the techniques I give you guys and you guys just get one patient by learning the tips, tricks, and techniques, one patient in a whole year. If you are a skilled nursing home, a skilled nursing home health agency, how much is one patient? That's about three thousand to four thousand dollars that you're going to get as you know from Medicare, from the insurance, is depending depending on the billing. Right there alone, it already paid for this particular item. But our goal is not to give you one patient. Our goal is to be able to double your referral sources, to increase it, to increase your patient census. That's what our main goal here for you guys is to be able to learn how to be able to handle gatekeepers, how to get the appointments, how to present correctly, how to get physicians to start referring patients to you, to get these social workers to start using your agency. Once again, this is Michael at Home Health Success Academy. You have to understand agencies are having problems getting more referrals. A lot of larger agencies are expanding, opening up their own non-medical, 
adding hospice to them. So this is a cutthroat industry we're in right now. And then the person that actually educates themselves and learns how to succeed is our one that's going to be able to succeed and beat the other competitions. And if you don't join this, guess what? Your competition is joining this. If you don't attend the boot camp, guess what? People around your area is going to be attending the boot camps that we're having. So like, for example, our event that's coming up in Lakeland, Florida, we actually have people coming in from Georgia, coming in from Tennessee. We have one person that signed up that's coming from, you know, North Carolina. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to create these events to be able to create success for you guys. So make sure you guys sign up, whether you're an online learning platform or attending our boot camp, either or you should take this. This is amazing information that you guys should actually have your company. If you have any questions, contact us, 630-340-8990. Email us, info at homehealthsuccessacademy.com. But all the information is in our website, homehealthsuccessacademy.com. Our online learning platform is 10xpatientreferrals.com. If you have any questions, always know that home health is easy. Home health marketing is easy when you guys know what you're doing. This is Michael Echeverria. I look forward to seeing you guys in the boot camp. And I look forward to talking to you guys in the film. Have a great day.